Hello and welcome to Renesol's PV Configurator 3.0. This software allows you to quickly and simply design mounting systems for solar installations using comprehensive verified statics. Start by clicking on New Project. Then, enter the project name in the corresponding field. Optionally, you can also assign it a project number and add any comments if necessary. I'm going to skip over the button Fast Calculation Without Static Checks because I would like to show you how simple and transparent the full design process is with statics. It's easy to enter the location of the PV project using Google Maps. In many cases, the wind and snow loads associated with the entered location are automatically displayed. If no predefined loads appear, you can click on Show Map to find the values corresponding to the location and select them from the drop-down menu. If very particular characteristics of the location need to be depicted, wind and snow loads can also be entered directly as numerical values by first moving the corresponding slider to the right. Here you have the option to adjust the switch labeled Use Pressure Coefficients from BRE 489-2014, Roof Pitch 0 to 45 degrees. This switch applies coefficients specific to the British BRE 489 document. The pictures depict different site categories. They are important because the wind load is also dependent on whether the building is directly exposed to the wind or if it is protected by elevated objects or terrain in the surrounding area. Next, select the service life of the PV system. You can choose between 50 and 25 years. The safety level is determined by setting the consequence class. Heavily visited buildings receive the highest consequence class. Class 3. Installations with little potential for damage, such as an isolated barn, belong to the lowest consequence class. Class 1. Class 2 is the most common. A safety factor must also be set for the ballast in flat roof systems. The final parameter for the wind load is the exposure. For example, a building on a mountaintop is subject to a higher wind load than a non-exposed building. Now you can move on to the system configuration. We start with the roof type. This is followed by the roof's dimensions. The height of the building also needs to be measured because it too influences the wind load. You can then choose the roof coverage. The choice of the fastening elements will later be dependent on this. Under that heading, there are several dimensions which are already filled out with typical values. Important! These dimensions must be checked and changed here accordingly, if necessary. Fields marked with a black square-shaped symbol have been assigned predefined empirical values, but they can be individually modified. Selecting the module is quick and easy. You can also store custom module types here and access them in later projects. The final step is the configuration of the actual mounting system. Of course, only systems suitable for the selected roof type are shown. First, select either portrait or landscape for the mounting direction of the modules. Then, select the fastener type, in this case, roof hook. The default fastening rails are single layer, but a double layer crossbar system is also available. Next, select the rail height. The 50mm rail is preferable for greater loads. You can choose multiple options for the rail length. The program will then automatically determine the optimal length. If your wholesaler has a particular length in stock, you may want to specify just the one particular length. The color can be selected to match the color of the module frame. The best option for the module clamp is of course our patented RS1, a universal clamp for all situations. If you would like, you can also use traditional mid and end clamps. By clicking next, you will be brought to the visual depiction of the solar installation, where you have the option to add and remove modules as you desire. Modules can be selected with a simple left click of the mouse. Multiple modules can also be selected at once. Remove them with the delete button on your keyboard. Modules can be added in two ways. You can slide the add single module slider in the upper right of the screen, causing a virtual module to stick to the mouse. By clicking on the black square of the neighboring module, you can attach the new one to the existing row. Press the escape button to end this mode. The second option is activated by sliding the add module slider. 
After this, click and hold the left mouse button and select an area with the mouse. There are plenty of other options for adjusting the settings, which can be found under Positioning Options. Now the system is finished and you can conduct a static calculation and create a parts list. Sometimes the statics cannot be established for the selected components. This will be shown in the upper left of the screen. If this occurs, you can go back and select stronger components for the rails and roof hooks. A legend to the symbols used can be found in the bottom right corner. By opening up the Layers tab, you can display or hide certain construction elements. For example, this allows you to view the roof hook's utilization factor separately. The parts list is also already available. It comprises the minimum equipment necessary. There are recommendations for other accessory equipment too. You can also add other individual items. If you already have a specific item on hand, you can also reduce the amount in the parts list correspondingly. There are four different exports. We'll start with the project report, which includes everything. Project description, the parameters set and systems used, simplified and detailed views of the roof and the parts list. All static analyses are listed transparently and in detail at the end. There are also other exports, for example the option to download as an Excel file or an export of the quotation. Finally, I would like to mention one last thing. Our team of technicians is very happy to answer questions and provide support for difficult projects. We would also be pleased to provide custom designs for projects that exceed the configurator's abilities. Please don't hesitate to call us.